Good morning. Hey guys, right now I'm hanging out with Canadian Olympic gold medalist Larry Kane and we're welcoming him across the board. Now I did ask him if I can go in the water and he said I would probably fall in. So we're going to stay on shore, but you're going to tell us what you're doing here, right Larry? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I was just worried that you might go back to the station wet. So um, uh, yeah, I'm here for the uh, Awabi, the uh, once around uh, Belle Island um, paddleboard race. I'm really excited about it. I hear it's a big event. It's my first time doing it. And um, so um, for those that don't know what paddleboarding is, I, we have somebody's found a board on the beach for us and a paddle, and uh, I thought I'd, um, I'd show you around a paddleboard. Yeah, show us. Cool. Show us how it works. Okay, so um, basically this is a board, and I think this is a 12-foot-6 long board, and it's more of a recreational board because it looks kind of like a, a surfy type board. It's not the polka dots on it that make it recreational. It's mm -hmm. more the shape of it. Mm -hmm. um, and right now it doesn't... Um, have a fin on the bottom of it. Most boards have, if you look at the bottom of them, they'll have, they'll have a fin uh, that fits in here on the bottom that helps it track straight, just like you see a fin on a surfboard. Okay. And these actually are derived from surfboards, but they're just a little chunkier. They have a bit more volume in them, which makes it, them easier to stand on when they're not bombing down a wave. Um, and so you can paddle them in flat water and, and have enough buoyancy that they, they stay above the water. Um, <clears throat> this one is pretty, also you can tell it's a recreational board, it's pretty wide, which means it's fairly stable, but it's still, if you're not used to it, it's still pretty tippy. Um, and then somebody also found a paddle for me that I, I could demonstrate with, and you can see that the paddle is, is pretty long. You know, most people's canoe paddles are, you know, maybe about that high. Okay. And, uh, you know, if you paddle in a dragon boat, the paddles are really short. And, and this, side side. Uh, yeah, and this is a fairly tall paddle. Um, uh, compared to those, it's a little bit shorter than the one I would use, but, um, and basically, yeah, you stand on the board in the middle, kind of by the handle, and um, maybe since there's no fin on it, I can do something that you're not really supposed to do, which is stand on the board on the beach, but if there's no fin on it, it's not going to hurt it. So you stand about here, and basically you just, you're just paddling like this, and you can steer the board by just while you're paddling one side with what you do with your paddle. Um, but a lot of people will actually change sides to steer. Um, I like to think about changing sides when I get tired um, and, and trying to, you know, change sides when I want to change sides, not when I have to, to avoid hitting something. Um, but, um, and, you know, for me, I paddled uh, in canoe. That was my Olympic sport. And in canoe, you sit in a high kneel position in your canoe like this okay. with a shorter paddle and you, you paddle like that. Um, so this was actually, a, a, it's a fairly similar motion for me. And so I try to sort of stagger my stance a bit and, and really, you know, get all my body weight outside the board and on top of the, the paddle and, and get my whole body into it. So we could maybe get you up on the board. Okay. Oh, should I take and, off um, Yeah, you just pop all right. up. Your this is the there. closest that I'm getting to paddling, guys. Thanks, okay. for, thanks for explaining so, all this but to that's us, the idea. And I could even hold a microphone for okay. you. <laughs> and you can put two hands in the paddle. Now you want to have one hand up on the top. There you go. And right. you're going to reach forward like that and try to get your body weight outside the board a little bit. You might want to move your feet a little bit further right. apart if we're you were to, on the water. We're going to keep practicing and we're going to send it back to you all, but the registration is open right now, 8.30. The races start at 10 o'clock this morning. This is, I'm practicing right now so that I can go <laughs> in the water later on. And then uh, children 12 and under free. If you're not 12 and under, $25. Starts at $25 going on right now here on, all around Belle Isle. For now, we're live at Belle Isle. Chris and Pierce, 7 Action News.